Yeah, yeah. Win really is a winner. <laughs> she certainly is. And I'm not apologising for being corny. Well done, Win. Now, it seems even death offers no escape from the global warming debate. As with most things these days, there are even eco-friendly ways to deal with us when we shuffle off this mortal coil. Well, indeed, when Barbara Cartland died eight years ago, she requested to be buried under an oak tree in a cardboard coffin to help the environment. Now, others opt for a carbon neutral end, maybe in a, a wicker coffin, or even a casket made from banana leaves or water hyacinths. And here in the southeast, the firm is now making cardboard coffins with reusable wooden covers. Peter Whittlesey has the details. Saving the planet is probably the last thing you'd think of while in a chapel of rest. But this undertaker is providing cardboard coffins for those who want to prove they're green in life and death. This is a traditional solid wood coffin. But if you're worried about your carbon footprint, there are now many alternatives. This one looks the same, but is in fact made from 96% recycled materials. Or if you want to go 100% green, you can have this one, which to maintain its dignity, we would put into a outer reusable casket. The cardboard coffin is placed inside a wooden casket for the funeral itself for aesthetic reasons. But will this idea catch on? I think it's a very good idea. I think it's very environmental friendly. I don't think it's respectful putting somebody into a cardboard box and then burning it. I don't give a damn what they bury me in. But I don't want to be buried, I want to be cremated. At £75, a cardboard coffin is also the cheapest way to go. And according to the industry, much in demand. There's so much publicity nowadays with regard to eco-friendly matters, carbon emissions, global warming and so on. And the baby boomer generation, I think, were the first major generational group to take those sort of issues seriously. And it's wholly illogical to suppose that they wouldn't want to carry eco-friendly provision into the area of funerals. So with a whole range of eco-friendly coffins on offer, you can be green to the very end. Peter Whittlesey, BBC South East Today, Dover. Gillingham Football Club are hoping...